I'm Mike Zima, and today I'm going to share a piece of advice. How do you promote stories and news about your business to get more attention and more PR from it? First, you have to understand that your communication is transformative. Whether it's video or it's text or it's a social media post, it could be the same message, but it ends up on different places. So that's the strategy of marketing. But the communication is not strategy. You just have to communicate. And as a business, if you're going to start with content on your website, you have to look at your website from a couple of different lenses. You have to have a professional website with high quality content. That's a must. You have to have an active social profile that looks very professional, that has consistent posting, and also amplifications of the content you're writing on your website to share and promote it even further. So with PR in general, you have to understand that this is a branding goal. Brand doesn't necessarily equal sales. It's really hard to measure this. And if you try to see what marketers do, it can be very confusing. So try to understand that this is bringing attention to your brand and new customers and exposing people to your brand. The best thing that can happen is people talk about your business and you get a customer out of that. That's something that brand can help you with. So you want to start with researching sites that are experts in your industry and build a list of blogs and contents. Ignore the competitors, but use them for inspiration. Now you're going to try to build a media list. So in any type of outreach, sales, you're building a list of people that you want to target. The same is true for marketing and the same is true for PR because it's relationship driven. So you have this list and you're going to have to consider your tools. So start with email always, this is the default, but you should also explore LinkedIn. You should also explore uh, cold email pitching by researching their information on their website, submitting queries through social media, and other points of entry. You have to get creative to get their attention and bring attention to your story. So one of the most important tactics about working with the press and the media is don't be too pushy. Uh, you wanna have a small list of outreach that you wanna focus on instead of a heavy spam list. Concentrate on 10 or 20 quality uh, websites that you wanna make a contribution to in a month. Don't inundate all these editors inboxes because they get hundreds of emails a day. So you want to be tactical with your time because so are the potential media placements that you can receive. And a result for your business is if you're receiving one or two media placements a month, that is excellent. That is actually incredible results. And that starts to compound and build a story about your business. So mar nothing about marketing is immediate and you have to think about it as an objective that's building on top of the previous successes and it's a continuous cycle of improvement. So that's how you can use PR for your own business and any small business owner can do this if they try to build relationships and instead of only focusing on building relationships with, with new customers, you can also build relationships with experts and peers in your industry and that is all going to be monumental in your success in building a brand online.